Hi guys, it's Mimi, and welcome to another video. And as you can see today, I have Luna here with me, and she is wearing one of Leah's outfits. And this is Leah's rainforest hike outfit. And today I'm going to be reviewing this for you guys. So this outfit costs $34, which is pretty expensive considering it is just an outfit that could be the price of an accessory pack with lots of accessories but it is pretty pricey though it comes with a lot of pieces um, it actually comes with six pieces and i will be reviewing each one individually so this is an overall look of the outfit it comes with this headband a shirt a green belt which is right here the pants, the watch, and some shoes that you can't see, but they're there. So let's get started on the review. Okay, so the first piece of her outfit are her hiking boots. They are really realistic hiking boots um, that I found. Um, they're actually pretty easy to put on. The only kind of hard part when you're putting them on is the little flap right here. It sometimes gets caught underneath the foot. So you just have to be careful when putting them on, but otherwise it's very easy to put on. It has three shades of colors. It's brown, green, and pink, but the bottom is black. Um, the bottom is actually hard um, plastic. It's not um, jelly kind of plastic like some shoes are. Um, the little green ties are actually elastic, so it's easier to put on the doll. And... Um, the boots themselves go around her um, ankle, a little bit higher than her ankle, but they're pretty uh, small hiking boots. They're not really long, um, and they're overall really cute. I mean, that's what they look like on the side, and they seem like really good quality. The doll can stand very nicely in them, so yeah, and I think the colors are really cute and unique. So, okay, so moving on to the pants. Um, so the pants are maybe my least favorite part of the outfit, just because they're a bit um, weird looking. But for a hiking outfit, I think they are um, perfect because they do give that hiking feel. Um, they are kind of like a greenish gray color, and they have little lines going down. I think you can see them. Um, that in the fabric um they are pretty baggy at the top but they're kind of um skinny towards the bottom they reach a little bit lower than her knee her knee is around here and this is where it goes so like mid thigh or something so they're not long pants but they're not shorts either which is a nice thing because usually it's either really short shorts or very long pants that ag makes so that's kind of a change. It also has, um, if I move her hand away, working pockets that add to the detail of the pants because usually hiking pants have a lot of pockets so you can put things inside. And um, it also has the um, zipper line right here. And these are really easy to put on. Um, they also come with little belt hoops, so you can put the belt on. Um, keeping in mind that when... Sorry, I was out of focus. So, here are the belt hoops for the belt. And keep in mind that when you're putting on this outfit, um, you have to take off the belt and put the pants and then put the belt back on. Just um, unclipping it like this because you can't put... It's not elastic, so it does um, hold her waist kind of tight and stuff. So you can't really go uh, put the pants up when this is closed. And overall, the pants are very cute pants. I like them, even though I said they weren't my favorite part. Because there are so many other parts of the outfit I prefer. But I really like these pants, and I kind of see myself using it in the future. Especially with Luna because I feel like the green, green gray really fits her complexion or her skin color. So, yeah. 
So I mentioned the belt earlier and now I'm going to be talking about this belt. So this belt kind of looks like a um, one of those hiking backpack clips. It's not really one of those belts where you have um, holes to poke uh, the ends in. It's more of a clip one. As you can see, you can open it and you can actually take the belt um, out. It's not sewn to the pants, which is really great because then you can use the pants um, alone if you don't want this um, belt. And I'm going to be taking it off later so you can see how it looks like without the pants um, with it. And um, so it's really easy to put on the belt. You just clip it and press here and unclip it. So it's very easy to put on. It is green, which is really great because it kind of goes with the color of the shoes. So it's kind of like a reminder of the color from the shoes. It has lighter green uh, stripes on the sides, which add to the style. And overall, it's a very simple piece, but it's very cute and kind of an original idea to put a belt that actually works on a doll outfit. So I'm going to be showing you how um, easy it is to remove the belt. So you just have to take this little loop and go through each individual um, belt hoop and it's pretty easy because it just slides off her hair is kind of messy because she fell when I was filming so please excuse that and it's actually super easy to take out just like a regular belt and here it is without the belt so without the belt what the outfit looks like without the belt um so yeah and here is a belt which is pretty long if you look in comparison to my doll it goes um pretty much you go from her feet it's about to her chest so that's pretty long and the fabric feels um pretty soft actually and but it does feel like one of those um, synthetic um, belts that you put on bags and things like that and yeah that is the belt without the outfit it's okay so putting on the belt is actually very easy as well so I'm going to show you please excuse the alarm my neighbors have a really loud alarm um, so Yeah, Clark American Girl um, sign stitched on it. And ever since Isabel's collection, they have been doing that a lot with the outfits. They're putting the doll of um, Girl of the Year's name on um, certain pieces of her collection, which I find it's very great because then you can keep track of who um, it belonged to and stuff like that. Just I'm a bit slow, so yeah, easy to put on. So you must have noticed this flashy pink colored watch because it is what stands out the most in the outfit. It's extremely pink and very visible. Um, so this is a watch, which is pretty cool that AG included it in the outfit and not in the accessories because usually watches are considered accessories and they go with the accessories but here we have it in the outfit which is really great um, so the watch looks a little cheap just because of the color but it is actually pretty good quality I don't own any other AG watches so I don't know if the quality is less um, good than the others is worse than the others but um, overall, I think it is pretty um, cute. It is really, really pink. So it might be hard to match with other outfits that have um, stronger colors. Um, it does have the time. And it has all the little knobs and stuff. 
and um, this part is actually kind of rubbery, but this one is hard. And the um, little clasp here is, let me fold the hand, yellow um, to match the headband. And um, pretty much that's the little watch. Okay, so I'm going to remove the watch. Um, So here is the watch, and hopefully my camera will focus, but that's not a 100% certain. Um, here we go. So this is the watch when it's off my doll, and what I meant is, you can see that this part is rounded, so it's easy to put on the doll's arm. Um, and you can see it's very realistic, because it has the little holes and the little um part so you can put the um what's left once you put it in the hook so this is a watch and it's extremely cute so yeah so here i'm going to put the belt on uh i mean the watch on so you can see how easy it is to put on the belt uh oh god this is a watch the watch on so hopefully you can see what i'm doing And there we go. The little watch is on. Here is the t-shirt. And as you can see, it is a white short-sleeved or three-quarter sleeve um, t-shirt with a decal of a tight-dyed butterfly. And I really appreciate that AG made it white because AG tends to make t-shirts more funky colors. And if it would have been a different color like pink, let's say, or green, it would have clashed or looked weird with other parts of the outfit. So the white makes it kind of subtle, but the um, butterfly has some of the colors in the outfit, like the green, and the pink, the, uh, the yellow, and some pink here too. It also has blue, which is kind of a different color from what you see in the patterns of the outfit. So it kind of has reminders of the other outfit, uh, colors in the outfit so that kind of matches in but it's also really good for mixing and matching because it is um, a very simple t-shirt with just a little butterfly decal so here is my fingers so as you can see my doll is wearing um, two little braided buns and I think she looks really cute so yeah but anyways um, her hair is kind of messed up on that side because she fell but let's ignore that so here is the headband and it's a bright yellow color and i'm going to zoom in so you guys can see it better here we are at a different angle so you can see it better and by the way this lighting looks pretty good from what i can tell so um here is the little headband um the bow is kind of messed up I'm gonna fix that there we go so this Headband is a bright yellow color which matches the yellow on the butterfly shirt. Um, it also has this really elastic -y and stretchy feel to it, which is really great when putting on um, the headband on your doll's head. So it's very comes very in handy that it's stretchy. It's kind of similar to the cozy sweater outfits pink um, headband very stretchy and easy to put on this one has a special um, detail as you can say it didn't come with a tag which is great because sometimes you have to cut those tags off and it's kind of annoying so this one didn't come with a tag which is a plus but what I meant with the special feature is that it has a little bow here so instead of um, just sewing the ends together they put a bow, like a tight um, bow here, um, which adds to the cuteness of this. And you can rearrange it. And if you don't want the bow on the top, you can just put the headband the other way around and just have the yellow. So that's great. And overall, it's a, just a really simple piece, but it could go 
well with many outfits. Um, and also a plus is that that's yellow, and my favorite color is yellow, and yellow is not a very used color in most AD outfits and outfits around the world, so I'm happy they put a yellow headband. So there you have it, my pretty in-depth uh, review on Leah's Rainforest Hike outfit, and hopefully this helps you decide on whether you like this outfit or not. I would say it is a very great outfit because it has a lot of mix and match potential, but it also looks very cute together. It doesn't look like there's too much uh, going on, which is great because sometimes AD tends to make really weird looking outfits with like bright pink leggings and blue shirts that don't really match. So I feel like this one is very cute and very current day um, hiking outfit like. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful and I will see you guys soon. Bye!